Hello everyone, let us discuss division of functions. Para sa video na to, meron tayong limang examples. Kaya given yung ating unang function f of x, and then our second function g of x, to do our division of functions para makuha natin yung quotient nung dalawa, yung ating f divided by g of x, this is just equal to yung f of x natin all over yung ating g of x. Kukunin natin yung ating f of x individually, then i-divide natin siya dun sa ating buong g of x. Now, let us proceed dun sa ating unang example. We have to perform our f divided by g of x given our functions. Yung unang f of x natin is equal to x squared plus 12, tapos ang g of x naman natin ay 6x minus 3. Applying our concept para sa division of function, we have our f divided by g of x. So, this is just equal to yung ating f of x over yung ating g of x. Ang gagawin lang natin is, isasubstitute lang natin yung ating f of x dito, and then yung ating g of x naman dito sa ating denominator. Kaya this is equal to, ang f of x natin is x squared plus 12, tapos ang g of x naman natin is 6x minus 3. Ngayong nailagay na natin sila, let us look for ways kung paano natin masisimplify ito. Pag tinignan natin yung ating numerator, ito na talaga siya. Tapos yung denominator, we can factor out 3 pero wala naman siyang magiging epekto dun sa ating numerator. So okay na rin siya. Since yung ating function is on its simplest form already, then wala na tayo magagawa. This is the quotient of our two functions. Our final answer is x squared plus 12 over 6x minus 3. For this example, nagkataon lang na wala na tayong pwedeng gawin to simplify pero this is not always the case. Now let us look dun sa ating pangalawang example. We have our f of x, this is equal to x raised to 4, tapos ang g of x naman natin is x raised to 2. Single terms lang naman siya, kaya if we perform our division, we have f over g of x, this is equal to yung ating f of x over yung g of x. Then, we substitute, ang f of x natin is x raised to 4, tapos ang g of x naman natin ay x raised to 2. Then, looking at our numerator and our denominator, meron silang exponents na 4 at 2, pero they share the same base which is x. With this, pwede natin i-apply yung ating loss of exponent kapag nagdi-divide tayo ng exponents with the same base. For example, we have our exponents here a and b. Kapag ka dinidivide natin sila, we just subtract yung value ng exponents. So, this is a minus b, yung exponent ng numerator minus exponent ng denominator, and then we just copy the base. Dito sa sinosolve natin, we have x raised to 4 over x raised to 2. Kapag ginawa natin yung process na diniscuss natin kanina, kukopyahin lang natin yung base, tapos kunin natin yung exponent ng ating numerator, minus yung exponent ng ating denominator. So, we have x raised to 4 minus 2, at 4 minus 2 is just 2, kaya this is x squared. Our x raised to 4 over x raised to 2, this is simply equal to x squared, and this is the quotient of our two functions. This is our final answer. Now, from this example, let us go one step further. Mula sa isang term ng f of x at g of x, let us proceed with our third example here. We have our f of x. This is just equal to x raised to 5 minus x raised to 3. Tapos ang g of x naman natin is simply x. Dalawang terms, yung ating f of x, isang term lang yung ating g of x. Now again, let us perform our division. We have our f divided by g of x. This is equal to yung f of x natin over yung g of x. Now, we copy our f of x, that is x raised to 5 minus x raised to 3 all over x. And then, warning lang, ingat tayo sa pagdi-divide. Huwag tayong basta-basta magka-cancel. Kasi maraming sudyante, kapag ka nakakita ng x sa denominator tapos x sa numerator, ang ginagawa ay basta na lang nagka-cancel. This is not correct. Kasi wala naman talagang operation sa math ng pagka-cancel. Ang ginagawa natin is we are dividing. Pero hindi tayo makakapag-divide ng x kasi meron pa tayong operation na subtraction dito sa ating numerator. Kaya ang gagawin natin, 
dahil meron tayong subtraction, tapos they share the same denominator, pwede kong ihiwalay yung ating x raised to 5 over x, tapos ihiwalay ko rin si minus x raised to 3 over x. Pwede kong gawin yun kasi they share the same denominator, kaya we can perform yung operation ng nasa numerator. That is applicable kapag meron tayong addition or subtraction of fractions, kaya this is equal to, ihiwalay ko sa x raised to 5 over x minus yung ating x raised to 3 over x. Pareho lang sila nitong nasa taas natin. Then, ano yung advantage nung ginawa natin yun? Kasi they already have the same base, x, dito, tsaka dito. Pero magkakaiba lang sila ng exponents. Kaya we can do our division. Yung x natin sa denominator, it can be x raised to 1. Pareho lang naman sila. Then, pareho nung ginawa natin sa ating previous example, ang gagawin lang natin is isusubtract natin yung exponent ng numerator dun sa exponent ng ating denominator. So, this is equal to yung ating x, tapos yung exponent ng ating numerator na 5, minus yung 1 ng ating denominator. 5 minus 1 is 4, kaya that is x raised to 4 minus. Dito naman, yung nasa numerator ay 3, tapos yung denominator ay 1, so we have 3 minus 1, kaya ito ay magiging x raised to 2. Then, unique na naman yung ating variables, kaya yung ating f divided by g of x, Our answer is x raised to 4 minus x squared. This is how we do division of functions kapag ganito yung given. Now, let us proceed with our fourth example. We have our f of x. This is equal to x squared minus 4. Tapos ang g of x naman natin is equal to x plus 2. Again, division tayo. Kaya we have our f divided by g of x. This is equal to our f of x. Nasa numerator divided by our g of x. Then, we copy, ang f of x natin ay x squared minus 4, tapos ang g of x naman natin is x plus 2. Kung titignan natin, parang wala na tayo magagawa. Pero, if we look at our concepts in factoring, yung nasa numerator natin, this is difference of two squares. As I recall, from our algebra, kapag ka meron tayong difference of two squares, we have a squared minus b squared. Ang ginagawa natin, we can factor this out as a minus b times a plus b. In our case, meron tayong x squared minus 4. So, this is x squared minus yung 4. Pwede natin siyang gawing 2 squared. Kaya we have our difference of 2 squares. And then, ang a natin, that is simply x, tapos ang b naman natin ay 2. Kaya this is x minus 2, tapos a again is x, tapos ang b ay 2, kaya this is x plus 2. Now, we can rewrite our numerator as x minus 2 times x plus 2. Ano yung kagandahan ng ginawa natin? Our denominator is simply x plus 2. Now, yung operation sa ating numerator, this is multiplication. Since multiplication siya, we can divide dun sa ating denominator. So, x plus 2 divided by x plus 2, this is simply 1. We are doing divisions, hindi tayo nagka-cancel. Kaya kapag minultiply na natin, yung quotient na 1 natin, kay x minus 2, siya na lang yung matitira. Kaya this is equal to x minus 2. This is our simplified f divided by g of x. And this is our final answer. This problem is a case na kailangan nating medyo humukay dun sa konsepto natin ng algebra. Kasi if we look initially at our given, parang simplest form na siya. Pero kaya pa natin siyang i-reduce into our x minus 2. Kaya kailangan nating maging maingat dun sa ating sinasagutan. Now, let us proceed dun sa ating huling example when it comes to division of functions. We have our f of x, this is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 8, tapos yung g of x natin, so sulatan ko lang siya, this is x plus 4. Doing our division, we have f over g of x, this is equal to f of x numerator over yung ating g of x na sa denominator. Then, this is equal to, ang f of x natin ay x squared plus 6x plus 8. And then, yung ating denominator, this is x plus 4. Again, kapag ka nakakita ng x, huwag basta-basta magka-cancel. Kasi hindi sila divisible, we have our operations of addition, both sa numerator at sa denominator. Now, we have to simplify this, kung kaya pa. Ang medyo komplikado ay yung nasa numerator, kaya ito muna yung ating galawin. 
Kaya looking at our x squared plus 6x plus 8, pwede natin siyang isimplify using trial and error. Gagawin natin yun para makuha natin yung factors niya. So, how do we do trial and error? Naglalagay lang tayo ng dalawang parenthesis, tapos nilalagay natin yung factors ng ating first term, x squared, dito sa unang dalawa, and then yung factors ng ating last term na 8, dito sa huling dalawa. Doing that, ang factors lang ng x squared ay x times x. Tapos, pwede ka namang hula, you can do trials dun sa factors ng ating 8, that kapag kinuha natin yung products nung nasa loob, and then kinuha din natin yung products nung nasa labas, kapag pinag-add natin sila, dapat ang sagot ay yung nasa middle term natin, which is 6x. Kaya ano ba yung factors ng 8 natin? Pwedeng 8 times 1, pwedeng 4 times 2. Pero for this one, ang gagamitin natin ay C positive 4, tsaka C positive 2. Bakit? Kasi kapag minultiply natin yung nasa loob, you have 4 times x, that is 4x. Tapos yung nasa labas naman natin na x times 2, that is 2x. And then if we get their sum, this is 6x. Nakuha na nga natin yung ating middle term na 6x, pareho siya dito. Kaya tama yung factors natin na x plus 4 times x plus 2. Then we can write our x squared plus 6x plus 8 as x plus 4 times x plus 2. And then this is all over yung ating x plus 4. Now, the operation between x plus 4 times x plus 2 ay multiplication na. Dahil multiplication na, we can perform our division, x plus 4 divided by x plus 4, that is simply 1, kasi pareho sila. And then, yung 1 natin, kapag minultiply na natin dito sa ating x plus 2, that is just equal to x plus 2. Now, eto na yung quotient ng ating dalawang functions. We have f divided by g of x. Our final answer is indeed x plus 2. Ito yung mga usual cases na pwede nating ma-encounter kapag nagdi-divide tayo ng ating functions. 